Hello my dear students. Welcome back to Learn Physics. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the same chapter that is Ray Optics. Last class we learned about the total internal reflection and some of the related numericals we did. Right. So, in today's portion, we are going to study about the refraction in spherical surfaces. We know the spherical surfaces means it will be a uh, uh, part of lens. Right. So, uh, lens includes two spherical surfaces. One is here and the other one is here. So, what will happen in the refraction of these spherical surfaces in each phase? So, a formula derivation is there. The detailed derivation as I uh, said in the previous videos, it is there in the last year video. Detailed explanation is given, all the derivation and you can see that link in the description box. See, in my video, uh, see in, in this video, the below that you can see a small triangle like this. Okay, so here when you are clicking, you will be getting the description box. There I will be giving the link for the playlist of this detailed derivation part. So today I am not going to explain you the derivation. Okay, so this is the uh, two surfaces. When I am considering uh, when a ray of light is incidenting from this side to this one. This is a rarer medium and this is a denser medium. Rarer to denser medium means it will be moving towards the ray will be refracting towards the normal. Right? And so here this is one refraction will happen over here and then denser to rarer. This is the second refraction. So when we are, what will have, how we can find a formula for the refraction at the spherical surface. If I am considering this refractive index as 1, n1 and this is the n2 refractive index, then as per formula n1 divided by object distance. We know since it is at the left side, object always will be keeping at the left side, so it will be negative plus n2 divided by image distance that is equal to n2 minus n1 divided by r. r is the radius of curvature. This formula you can by heart. n1 divided by minus u plus n2 divided by v equals n2 minus n1 divided by r. In today's video, we are going to do some numerical based on this. Okay. Here the first question is a glass dumbbell of length 30 centimeter and refractive index 1.5 has ends of radius of curvature 3 centimeter. A point object is situated at a distance of 12 centimeter from one end of the dumbbell. Find the position of the image formed due to refraction at one end only. So, we are considering a glass dumbbell of length 30 centimeter. So, I am considering a dumbbell like this of length 30 centimeter. Right? Then, and refractive index 1.5. Refractive index is 1.5 has ends of radius of curvature 3. So, it is having a radius of curvature of 3. 3 centimeter. So, R is given, we got it as 3 centimeter refractive index 1.5. So, this much we uh, required for us. Then, a point object is situated at a distance of 12 centimeter from one end of the dumbbell. So, point object is kept at a distance 12 centimeter. This is the place of object at a distance 12 centimeter. So, what is this? This is u equals minus 12 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Okay. Then, now, we should find, find the position of the image formed due to refraction. So, the ray of light is incidenting from a rarer to denser medium. When the ray of light is passing from rarer to denser medium, what is the formula? Here. This is the formula. Refractive index of the first medium. Here, which is the first medium? Rarer medium. The glass, since it's nothing is uh, told separately, so we can write it as it is equal to 1. So, because it's air, we are considering the N1 divided by minus U. So, minus minus 12 plus N2. N2 is 1 because we are considering this as air, right? In air, refractive index is equal to 1. 1 divided by, so N1 is 1 by 12 
1.5 divided by V we don't know N2 is 1.5 minus 1 divided by R is 3. So here 1 by 12 plus 1.5 divided by V equals 0.5 divided by 3. So 0.5 divided by 3 we will get it as 1 by 6. So here for, so it is 1 by 6. Now 1.5 by V equals 1 by 6 minus 1 by 12. So here 12, 12, 2 minus 1, 1 by 12. So here V equals 1.5 divided by 1 by 12, 12 into 15, that one we will get it as 18. So the answer is 18 centimeter away. We will be getting the image distance of at a dis image at a distance of 18 centimeter. So here the direction is very important. When the ray of light is passing from rarer to denser medium, the formula is N1 divided by minus U plus N2 divided by V equals N2 minus N1 divided by R. If we are considering a ray of light as passing from a denser to rarer medium, then again all these will be changing. Okay, N2 divided by minus U plus N1 divided by V equals N2 minus N1 instead of that N1 minus N2 divided by R. Okay, so this is the formula when we are considering from denser to rarer. Any one you can remember and the other one you can keep in mind, you will begin, this will be getting interchanged. Okay, so N1 divided by minus U plus N2 divided by V equals N2 minus N1 by R4 from rarer to denser medium. Then from denser to rarer medium, N2 divided by minus U plus. So when you are considering uh, uh, this one here and all, you should take the negative value. But when you are considering from here, here you should take this negative sign. Don't forget to do, take that. Okay, clear? I will give you one question as, an, as a homework. You can try to do that. An empty spherical flask of diameter 15 centimeter is placed in water of refractive index 4 by 3. A parallel beam of light strikes the flask. Where? Where does it get focused when observed from within the flask? So we are observing that from the within the from the flask we are observing it outside. Okay, so it will be from a denser to rarer medium. You try to solve it and uh, we will be discussing the answer in the next class. Okay, so the answer you should get it as minus 22.5 centimeter as V. Try to solve it. Thank you.